have ever done gardening in the summertime. To create the perfect garden in the summer requires planning. And what better time to plan than in the winter? Planning a garden requires knowing what to plant and where to do your planting. There are several varieties of plants to consider in your planting. There are perennials that flower that they flower at various times in the summer and then go dormant until they come back the following year. For example, bleeding hearts flower early in the in the summer. Black eyed susan don't flower till August, very late in August, and sedum is a plant that flowers in the fall of the year. Annual flowers flower all summer long and then die off. Some examples of annuals are asters, marigolds, and impatiens. There's biannuals as well. They have green leaves the first year, flower the second year, and then die off. An example of a biannual is foxglove. The plan for a flower bed is required so that you have a variety of plants that flower at different times during the summer months. This will ensure that not all plants will flower at the same time. Mixing annuals amongst your perennials will help ensure that your flower bed will have color and a bloom all summer long. When you already have an established garden, there will always be planning to do. Some plants will grow, will outgrow the spot that they're in, and you will have to plant, or they could be planted in the wrong location. You will then have to plan what plants will need to be moved and where to move them. You will also need to decide if there are plants that may grow too large and may need to be divided. What I did last year at various times this summer was take pictures of my flower bed and then use them in the winter to help me make my decision for what changes need to be done in the flower bed. Even though I also take notes during the year of what I planted, whether it's from seed or planted it from plants in the garden center, I, I also wrote down where I planted them. The pictures will show me the colors of the flower leaves so that I can then have the, a variety of colors throughout the summer months. In Newfoundland, the date to plant your annuals or new perennials outdoors is at the end of the third week of June. This date ensures that the risk of overnight frost is gone and they'll be safe to leave your plants outdoors. Another decision that needs to be made is whether to buy seeds or to purchase plants from a garden center. If you buy seeds, you should shop around to find out where you can buy the best seeds at the lowest prices. Seeds purchased at a garden center, such as a Walmart or Dominion or Kent, they usually cost $1.87 a pack. But you can buy plants, uh, seeds from dollar stores and usually get about three packs for 99 cents. And there's no difference in the quality of the seeds. I usually buy my annuals that way. You can purchase these packs as early as February. I discovered that perennials are harder to grow from seeds, so I buy them from garden centers instead. When you purchase perennials, remember that do not, they do not flower until the second year. I've known some people, much to their chagrin, that, who have thrown the newly planted perennials out after the first year when they did not flower. However, you have to be patient and wait for an extra year for the plants to flower. No garden just happens, so take the time to do the proper planning in the winter, and your garden will be the envy of the neighborhood in the summer. Thank you.